One pitcher not good, home versus road, while the other is just lights out all the time. Hey everyone, it's Five Farley. It's July 12th, uh, Thursday. we got a short slate of games today, travel day in baseball. First, let me say thanks to the sus subscribers. I appreciate it. i got a pick coming up for you in a second. Uh, thanks to the subscribers, new sus subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate it. Second, um, yesterday was a really good win. Um, Colorado, Arizona over. Uh, over the 11 and a half, ended up hitting 12 by before the third inning was over. So got to love those wins. Ended up 19 to two, I think was the final. Um, so there's three in a row. Uh, wins wise, hopefully we can get four in a row today. I've been really streaky. Uh, hit four in a row, missed four in a row. Now back three in a row. Um, hopefully we can keep it going. Today is a great slate of games to pick from. I, matter of fact, today is hard to choose which games to pass on. There's definitely wins out there. Um, as far as uh, which sides to pick and some totals to go with. So um, I'm definitely, I mean, I don't want to go back to Arizona, Colorado. I've already picked that game two days in a row, um, even though I do have a side there. Um, really hard to pass on uh, Philadelphia, Baltimore um, with Gosman on the mound and Pavetta. Um, but I just, I'm going to pass on that one. Seattle, uh, Paxton's done phenomenal against uh, the Angels. Hard to pass on that, but I'm going to. Um, and you know what's interesting here? This is really kind of interesting. Uh, J.A. Happ versus David Price. You got Toronto versus Boston. Of course, Boston, hottest team in baseball, won nine in a row. Um, their offense has been fantastic, and uh, pitching has been pretty good. And then uh, against Toronto, um, uh, you know, Toronto's on the road, so they clearly have an advantage as far as offensive goes. But these two pitchers are crazily similar in their stats. Hap versus Price, I mean, a little lean on Hap. Where there's a bigger lean on Hap is uh, his success against Boston. If you were to just look at uh, um, their overall statistics for the year, they both have exactly a 4.44 ERA. They both have exactly 18 innings. They both have exactly 16 home runs given up and 34 walks. Um, they are within four innings of each other, uh, total innings for the entire year, and within 14 strikeouts of each other. One has a 10 and 5 record, J. A. Happ, and then David Price has a 9 and 6 record, one off from the other. Um, they have extremely similar uh, uh, histories as far as the season goes. And then going into this game, both are coming off two poor outings, one of which is New York uh, in common. Uh, the other was Kansas City for Price and uh, Detroit Tigers for, for J. A. Happ. Um, however, if you look at Happ, He's had a lot of success against Boston, a lot. Um, hard to deny that. He is uh, he's 4-0 in the last four years. He hasn't lost to uh, Boston in the last four years, um, including at Fenway. Uh, this year, he is uh, he has a 1.29 ERA. He's got seven innings, four hits, one run. Um, but if you look back at the last three years, um, you know it's even more impressive. 3-0 at Boston um, in Fenway. He's got a 1.98 ERA, 4-0. Um, in eight starts, uh, like I said, over the last three years, so total nine starts, and uh, still 4-0. and oh. That gives you some idea, though, there's five no decisions, uh, of which some of those equate to losses, of which he had nothing to do with. Uh, but he has held the uh, um, Red Sox uh, to their offense completely at bay. Really interesting to see what will happen today. Um, good value over on the Toronto side. It would be hard to back their offense, though, uh, just in how they've been hitting, which is the bottom third of baseball. So um, I'm passing on that one. Moving on to the game I got for today, and I kind of hate to do this because this is probably the easiest one um, as far as where the line is at. Uh, but I got to take Blake Snell on the road. You know, we're still getting great value at minus 120. Um, it opened up at even. I wish I would have got it then. Um, but it's moved up to minus 120. A lot of big money's coming in on Tampa Bay. It is kind of the easy pick to take. Tampa Bay's been on fire. Um, I will say the Twins are on fire, but when you dig into that, why they're on fire, um, it's because they just faced Baltimore and Kansas City, the two worst teams in the AL. Uh, arguably, you'd have the White Sox in there, but as of late, those are the two worst teams in the AL. They faced them at home, so they won six of seven. Um, their offense puts them in the top five here in the last uh, in July, uh, but that has to do with facing those two uh, pitching staffs that have given up more runs than anyone except for Chicago in the AL. So don't let that deceive you. Before that, they lost 11 of 13 games. Um, that's Minnesota. That's 
the Minnesota we're used to. Um, so here we are at home. They're 26 and 21. That's great. Tampa Bay, 22 and 27 on the road. Uh, Blake Snell, this is his first time pitching in Target Field. Um, you know, here in his second season, first as a starter for uh, Tampa Bay. Um, well, he did have some starts last year, but um, it is his first time pitching, though, in Target Field. He faced uh, Minnesota earlier this season down in Tropicana, seven innings, five hits, one run. Um, he won that game, 1.29 ERA. But it, no matter how you slice Blake Snell, he's been fantastic. The only thing I'm worried about is he does get a lot of walks when he's on the road. Um, he's got a 308 ERA. Um, the past 30 days, though, a 1.6 ERA, 4-1, uh, 167 opponent batting average, just lights out. Here's the other thing. Kyle Gibson um, at home has struggled, 4.44 ERA. Uh, he's 1-4. Opponents hitting 263 as opposed to on the road, opponents hitting 197 against him and a 2.84 ERA, just a huge difference um, when he's at home versus on the road. Uh, he did face Tampa Bay down in uh, Tropicana. Uh, went six and a third, five five hits and four runs. Um, didn't get hit very hard, but uh, they made it count in, in Tampa Bay. And that's what I think we're going to see today. I think we got a four to one Tampa Bay win. Um, three one, four one. Uh, I think the under is attractive, but I'm going to take the side here with Tampa Bay. It's at a minus 120. Get it while you can. It's probably going to go up to uh, uh, 130 or higher by the time we get the first pitch. Um, so get it while you can. Um, right now we're at about 90 plus percent of the money going in on Tampa Bay. So, um, yep, there you go. Good luck, everyone. We'll see you again soon.